Morphing is one of the many techniques used in logo animation, and it means the transformation from an object to another. For example, from a letter to an icon or from a shape to another shape. And there are three types of morphing techniques that we should focus on. First one is replacement, and that's when you just replace a frame by frame, and it happens in the middle of the speed of an animation. Second type of morphing in animation is the path and the size, which means changing the size and the path of an object to another object. For example, from a rectangle to a triangle. Then we have the splitting techniques. That means you have an object, it does split into tiny pieces, and then it regroups into something else. And finally, we have overlapping. That means when an object is gone, another one appears. Hello everyone, my name is Adam. I'm a professional animator and designer with seven years experience. I have worked with many brands like Animaker and Wondershare, which I still do work with up till now. And in this class, I will show you how to make this beautiful, amazing morphing animation using the replacement technique and overlapping method. So in this class, you will learn how to import and organize your vector files in Adobe After Effects, even vector files from Illustrator. We'll work on the animation using the keyframes and the speed graph. And also we will be using Duik Basel, or as it is called now, Duik Angela with the new updates. And that will help us just take the animation to the next level. Also, I'll be sharing with you how to think creatively when facing an issue during animation because as much as I hate to admit it, sometimes it's not as simple as it looks like. Now this class of course is for beginners in logo animation. This is not an advanced class in logo animation, but a basic knowledge of Adobe After Effects is required. So for the tool of course you will be needing, as I said, Duik Basel and After Effects. And by the end of this class you will have learned all the necessary basic morphing techniques that you can apply pretty much to any logo animation or illustration or shapes. Now with that being said, see you in the next lecture. Alright, so in this first lecture, let's go ahead now and do our warm-up exercise. We'll start by a simple one frame morphine animation and then we'll go back from there. Alright, so the first thing you have to do here is to animate the position. Alright, so it animates the camera from left to right. Let's click on position. Add a keyframe here. And then we're going to move around 10 frames. And then click here, hold shift and move the camera on top of the smartphone like this. All right, so now we have our two keyframes. I'm just going to select them both and move them a little bit to the right like this around here. Next step would be to add another keyframe here. All right, this is for anticipation. And another one here for the follow through animation principle, because remember how we said for a good morphine, we need to apply basic animation principles plus a distracting element. Okay, so now for this keyframe right here, this one, I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left. Okay, so I'm holding shift and I click two times on the left arrow. And same thing for this. I'm going to hold shift and click the right arrow two times. Now let's select everything. F9 for the easings. Now we can hide the smartphone layer and just go to the speed graph and adjust this. Now what we want to do is that we want to accentuate the speed here in the middle because this is where the transition or the morphine will happen. Okay, so something just like this. And then for the last keyframe, I'm going to do the same thing. So just move this handle like this. And this should be good. Okay, now let's click on play. Okay, looks good. Maybe just a little bit more. Adjust this one like this. All 
or maybe just put this one here a little bit far away because I wanted to follow through and come back to its place a bit slowly. Okay, this is better. Let's move it a little bit more, like around here. Now let's do the same thing for the rotation. So R for rotation, then add the keyframe. Click on use so I can have access to all the keyframes. Then add another keyframe here. Another one here. And another one here. Okay, so for this one, the second one, let's put minus six, something like this. And then for this one, let's put just the number six. So same thing, F9. Go back to the speed graph and then pretty much do the same thing as we did with the position keyframes. Okay, I'm guessing this one was like this. All right, so let's click on play. Okay, looks good. Now this step is important. Let's take the playhead and put it right here on the last keyframes. Bring back the smartphone layer. And now what we want to do is just pair this smartphone layer to the camera layer. All right, so click on this one, the pick whip. And parent it to the layer. Okay, do not parent it to any of these parameters, just parent it to the layer. Now, if we click on play, all right, so you can see that they're moving together now. So, for the morphing, it's going to happen right here in the middle. Let's bring the speed graph. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so around here, I'm going to go ahead and trim this layer here and trim this one here just like this okay let's click on play again now for the distracting element we can of course be creative and do a lot of stuff but just to make it easier for this first lecture i'm gonna apply the motion blur okay so motion blur here motion blur here Click on play now. Now we have it. All right. So of course we can make it more interesting if we add some effects. For example, I can go ahead to the layer, new, add a solid color. Okay. Put it here in the bottom. Lock this layer. Go to effects. I'm going to type noise. And we can add noise vignette. But first, I forgot to add the adjustment layer. There we go. Apply it to the adjustment layer. All right. So now, for the center, it's going to be here. Let's click on play. All right. And we can leave it like this. All right, so in this lecture, we covered the basic one frame morphing animation, which is basically cutting two layers in the middle of the speed graph. Up next, we'll be doing our basic animation and we'll start by animating our letter L.